Yes, thank you. You know, Wayne Tinkle desperately wanted to make this run last year with his son Trace playing for him, but you recall there was no run for anybody in the big dance. Trace is now playing in the NBA's G League, but Dad says he's as entrenched as ever in Oregon State's tournament run. Well, first of all, Trace wore a t-shirt our first game, and it was a picture of Jared Lucas shooting a jumper. Some folks thought it was a picture of himself, which he would never do. Um, and then after, after the game the other night, he asked uh, Ryan Lawrence, our equipment manager, if he could have a Roman Silva jersey. You know, he, he wore a Zach Reichel jersey for a while, and uh, he's fired up. But you know what? It was too bad he missed out his freshman year with the late injury. It was too bad it was swept away last year because we felt like we were about to make the same kind of run, but he's, he's knee deep in it with us, and so, so is my wife and daughters. As if the family's not emotionally invested enough this week, odds are Tinkle won't be able to keep a dry eye before Saturday's Sweet 16 showdown against Loyola Chicago. He explained why after Sunday's tournament win. This is, hopefully doesn't get me too emotional. Um, it's a hell of a win by Loyola today. And uh, as I was saying my prayer as I do before I take a nap, I just said this would be unbelievable. Um, I grew up in Chicago, was born in Milwaukee. My dad was Dean of Men at Marquette. And then when I was a year old, we moved to Chicago. He was Vice President, Dean of Students at Loyola. I grew up on their campus. He had two offices, on one on the North Shore, one downtown at the Water Tower Place. Some of my most fond memories were in the summer, going to his office, the Water Tower Place, and um, he would have to do some work and he'd have people just kind of keep me out of trouble. I'd go up to the little gym, shoot some hoops. And then uh, we'd go to the Cubs games, you know, in the afternoon. And uh, I remember stories about George Ireland. Um, you know, I, I remember going to see him play when I was like five or six years old. George Ireland, Loyola's head coach, who during the 62-63 season defied the unspoken rule to not have more than three black players on the court at one time. Ireland and the Ramblers not only defied that rule, they won the NCAA tournament in 1963. Fast forward almost 60 years, Porter Moser now leading Loyola's charge. Coach Moser's done a hell of a job, they're a great team, but uh, this, is, this is really going to mean something extra special for me and my family. So how about that irony? Oregon State picked dead last in this year's Pac-12 preseason poll, yet here they are into the Sweet 16 against a team that their coach grew up cherishing as a young child. Scott Breen, MTN Sports.